for the police department, and then just some of the details of your complaint. I'm a federal court uh, expert on police misconduct, and I will advise you the same way I would advise a court or an attorney if asked about your complaint. So if you give me the details, I can tell you first whether you have a complaint, uh, and number two, what some of your options are to resolve it. Okay? Okay. All right, well, it's uh, Phoenix Police Department, um, the Desert Horizon 600 precinct. Okay, and tell me what happened. How did you come in contact with the police? Well, um, it all began, I'll tell you everything. It actually happened with my boyfriend. Um, he was uh, coming to my apartment, and um, the police were running a surveillance over here at a, for another apartment in the apartment I live in. Mm -hmm. And um, they saw my boyfriend get out of the, come out of my house and go into our car. And um, for some reason, they decided to, you know, just follow my boyfriend. And mind you, he's African American. And um, they followed him for about um, 15 minutes, that's what the officer said. And um, they watched it. I mean, he, was, he went to Wendy's because I was sick to get me a milkshake. So he went to Wendy's, and um, the cops said uh, in the police report that it seemed like he was avoiding them, but in reality, his destination was Wendy's. Mm -hmm. And um, the cops were, you know, basically watching him through the um, parking lot at Wendy's, and then they left. I mean, he left. And they like um, looked up the um, the um, license plate and seen his past history with the police and looked up his priors and everything. And um, they uh, began to follow him and then they uh, put on the siren in like a dark street. It's called like Seventh Street and Belt. It's a really dark street. And uh, they pulled him over and. Um, they started asking him, you know, questions like, you know, where did you get this car and, you know, license and registration first, but then after that they asked him where did he get his car from. And um, what, what kind of car is it? It's a 2001 Black Dodge Intrepid. Okay. It's a nice car, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, they um, asked him, you know, something like, he told me that they asked him something like, are, are you still gangbanging? Where did you get this car from? And um, he was like, um, he's right here. I'm going to let you, um, let him tell you the rest, okay? Okay, great. All right. Okay. Hello? Okay, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm picking okay. up what you left off. Um, you know, they, they inquired about, you know, where I get the car from. You know, I didn't want to make no big dialogue because, like I said, I do have a past criminal history with the police. And I found an office before a police officer to control you ever, because I've been pulled over numerous times. And uh, I never had an incident where, like, four police officers come at one time to pull me over, especially when I was making a trip to Wendy and back over here to her house. And what happened was that um, when the, after they pulled me over, um, I, I provided them with the, the current license, registration, and insurance that I was supposed to. I provided them with all that. Um, as the officer went back, there was another officer, there was three other officers there as well, so another officer started, you know, trying to, like, ask him questions and stuff, and I, I basically, you know, didn't, didn't really have any conversation for him. And my, my, my response was well to the, to the fact that, you know, if I did something wrong, you know, I'm not, 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 I'm and uh, he went ahead and um, pulled me out of the vehicle. You know, he tried to, um, in the police report, he called it a Terry flip, a, a Terry, a Terry flip, but that wasn't what it was. He pulled me out the car and then um, pushed me. And, you know, I ran as a man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they, they, they went ahead and started, you know, um, beating me up and tasing me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. So let me just make sure I let me have, make because this is an important turn in the story. Up to this point, there wasn't any violence. So let me just back up and go over it. Okay. You do you live with your girlfriend? No. Okay. So you were visiting. Yes. Okay. You were driving her car, the Intrepid. Yes. 
Okay, so you both jointly own the car. Right. Okay. Did you have valid uh, driver's license? Yes. Did you have insurance on the car? Yes. Okay, so you had all your paperwork. Do you have any warrants? No. Okay, so you left the parking area of an apartment complex to go get her something to eat. On the way, you right. noticed several police cars following you. Had you committed any crime up to that point? No, not at all. You know what? I didn't even, I didn't even know it was going to follow me. Okay, I found out they were following me because I had left the apartment. I found out it was out of the police car and we got the preliminary hearing. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I knew mean, they were following me when I, after I left the I, I saw that they were going to follow me. But I wasn't even, I wasn't even concerned about that because I haven't been doing anything wrong. And I mean, that's why I put it over in the dark street that I put it over because it was very dark where, where they were. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. Were they in yeah. regular police cars or were they in undercover units? No, they were in regular police cars. Okay, how many police cars? Um, it was two of them. It was an SUV vehicle and it was a uh, uh, regular uh, squad car. Okay, and they pulled you over. How far from the Wendy's did they pull you over? Uh, it was probably about a, I would say, just at a gentleman. I guess for me, so, um, it's really the third street. I'll do it. That's two and a half miles from Wendy's. Okay. Now, you're on a dark street. You're two and a half miles from Wendy. They pull you over. What did the officer say when he walked up to the car? When he walked up to the car, he said, um, do you have any, um, do you, uh, do you have any license and insurance? And I said, hey, yeah. <laughs> okay. And, and then what did he say? Um, he said, you mind grabbing that? And I, I got it out for him. He gave it to him. And um, as I did that to him, I asked him, I said, what did I do a pull over for? Okay, and what did he say? I said, I would do a pull over for a failure to yield. And he said, you yield a lot of land, and there was no traffic at this time. You know, there was no traffic going on at all. He pulls you over for failure to yield? Every five minutes, running around. Real, 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 Real,
Yeah.